Okay, welcome everyone. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Depending on the time you are listening to this audio podcast, my name is Elaine Yolua Kemi Obadimichi. I'm an health education student of the Tashula University of Education. I'm a graphic designer where I have brand experience, I design and I also edit. I'm also a copywriter also where I help brand write a sales copy, a copy sales copy. That will make your clients to continue to buy from your content to purchase from you. I'm also a network marketer where I sell that I Richard card and also um, I also partner with Lenny Fleas as an athlete, one of the athletes members also. So in this other podcast today, we will be discussing some issues we face, most especially as a graphic designer. This is one of the issues we face as a graphic designer, which is very rapid these days. And we would like you to be the change. We want the change to come from us now and from you. If you are able to listen to this audio, I would like you to listen to the end so that you don't miss out any point that I will be sharing with you. So now let's get started. The topic is. How to cope with stress as a graphic designer. The topic of this audio podcast is how to cope with stress as a graphic designer. While I was preparing this note, my mom was asking me, how does stress relate to graphic designer? Yes, I am a graphic designer. So he's asking me, does a graphic designer, do we experience stress? Then I have to take my time to explain to her, which she later says that he be yes. You, you you face stress so this is what i'm also going to share with you also you may be wondering how does stress related to my work as a graphic designer or well, let me say just as an entrepreneur now how does this stress related with me so i'd like you to listen the first one is what is stress what is stress this stress of it what is it so i can say stress is a feeling of emotional or physical tension the stress is a feeling of emotional or physical tension and it comes from any thoughts that make you feel frustrated, angry or nervous. So it, 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 it is any thoughts that make you feel frustrated, angry or nervous. For example, let's say you wake up in the morning and someone just got you angry or you receive a call very early in the morning and you're like, why will you call me such this kind of a call early in the morning? So such a thing it has already started a bad mood for the day already it's already a bad mood to begin with for for a good day like that so when you feel this frustrated and you are nervous it is a stress on its own and you need to avoid all this stress why do you need to avoid it right to make your day productive to maybe make your work more productive also because in such a mood a client cannot come to you that very moment and told you you need a work also and you'll be willing to do it even though why the client is explaining to you what he or she wants you'll be carried away because you won't get the key points that you are hungry already you are not even ready to listen to what the client is ready to say even while he was talking you are just saying yes 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 meanwhile you don't even know what what he's trying to say so these are the kind of stress you need to avoid as a graphic designer and results have shown that fifteen percent reported back problem. And also, what are these um, health related? Uh, what are these stress? What is what does it cause to our body? So it causes back pain. Sometimes it can even relate to a headache or migraine. It can lead to eye problem also. So let me not go there now. Let's talk about the problem. That are related to stress problem that are what that are related to stress first one stress headache problem that are related to stress that is after stressing yourself after feeling angry and after feeling nervous after feeling frustrated already what are those likely problems that can that can occur from it so the first one is stress headache then the second one is fatigue that's extremely tiredness. The third one is eye strain. The fourth one is back ache. 
Then the fifth one is stress related insomnia. Let me call it again now. The first one is stress headache. The second one is fatigue. That's when you're extremely tired. Then the third one is eye strain. Then the fourth one, backache. And the fifth one, stress related insomnia. This I want you to call Google, take a book now and a pen and i'm going to be taking you through it so i would not like you to listen just for listening sake i want you to also note down and after everything i would like you to, to to share with me what you have learned from this audio and if you find it very helpful do not hesitate to like comment and share with your friends with any other fellow graphic designer that you know or an entrepreneur that you know so that when they also listening to this you're actually saving them also are saving is so also so let's get started we said the first problem is stress headache so what's this stress headache stress headache is one of the commonest health issues that is most time this causes of this stress headache is when you sit in a position for a long time you sit in a position for a long time let's say you, you, you want to get a design job now you have a design that you want to do then you are you, at least yes you have to sit with your system sit with your computer so why sitting with your computer you did not stand up for a while so this stress headache is all it's always pop up when you sit in a position for a long time facing the system or your phone also that is there's no movement you are not standing you are not even strolling so this it can it, it can cause stress this thing can be caused by stress or eye strain, fatigue or anxiety. So due to all this affirmation costs and sitting for a long time, we all see that all these are related to our graphic design job. So can you see that? So many people have said our graphic design is a very easy job. Yes, but we know that our work is very easy. But is it easy for someone to sit for 4 hours facing the system without standing up? Is it easy? But some people will still see it as a lazy person job but all the same we are we are creative also so the second one is fatigue that's when you are extremely tired so what is this fatigue fatigue is a, is a state where you feel tired where you feel weary you don't even feel like doing anything that's when you call fatigue or after you have worked for a while then you are feeling tired that's when we call fatigue so being a graphic designer you work long hours, and this job can make you prone to fatigue. After working for long hours, and before you stand up, you're already feeling some back pain or headache or so, and you're even tired that to even eat, it will be something else for you. So that's what being a graphic designer is also. There are times I call it backside of a graphic design. I do call it back backside of being a graphic design because as easy as it is, that is how. We are prone to some health issues also so this can affect our overall work your productivity and performance and it will reduce your communication skills your planning and decision skills also when you are tired you'll be able to think straight you'll be able to plan well even to make decisions it will be very it will, it will be very hard for you you won't be able to communicate well or someone that is tired now, can you even tell me, oh yeah, let's go out, or let, I have a discussion with the person, just to, please, just leave me alone for now, as I am now, I'm very tired. So, it reduce communication skills, your planning and decision skills. Then, that's why we need to get rid of skills, and get rid of this stress as a graphic designer. Then, the third one is high strain. The third one is high strain. So now, what is this high strain? You see, be a graphic designer. Our job is to sit up right in front of a system for a long time. So that time that's for a day. After that day runs out, you see that you are still there for a week, a month, a year, two years, ten years. In, in as much as you are still using this graphic design to eat, also, you are still prone to this high strain. So high strain is, 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 a, is, a, is a thing where, where, where you, 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 you use uh, your eyes or you strain your eyes and you start seeing double or you have a blue eye 
you can't even see anything where that is what this eye strain can cause so it is caused by eye strain when you sit facing the system on your your phone for a long period of time without a break also so because we spend much time in front of this system it leads to eye strain because our eyes is created in such a way that it, it is very sensitive and it's just like an egg the ray of light can damage her eyes and we can damage her eyes so that's why we have to know how to make use of our light this um, is a place in the system and also a phone for brightness and and reducing the brightness of our phone so this place you need to know how to make use of it very well so it causes doubling or a blood vision high strain high headache i don't know if you have had it but high headache before but your eyes will started aching you you won't you won't see anything you started feeling to the fact that you feel like almost giving up why is this thing happen to me so that's what this high headache can cause and it also leads to cataract when it is severe leads to cataract or a slow focus and headache before you see it you started feeling headache in the body and you won't be able to focus well so that's another the problem when we don't stress to us as a graphic designer then the fourth one is back ache what one is back ache you see i work as a graphic designer it requires us to sit for a long time and most of graphic designers experience this most time because spending most time sitting on the system it can lead to this back ache some people did not even know how to use minimize that time well let's say you have 44 hours to design a job at least you need to schedule schedule yourself to the essence that should have let's say within an hour you should have at least 20 minutes break you should stand up stretch your body stretch your hands stretch your back blink your eyes do some little exercise go out ease yourself if you don't feel like eating for that, at that moment eat that's where so many people are are causing problems to their so people will feel like eating but because we are working on a system you won't be able to eat good food that's why you, you call someone please come and go and buy snacks for me you buy snacks and mineral you feel like you feel okay you don't know that you are killing yourself small small to you you have eaten already at least you have find something to to, 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 to to cool your body for that moment to quench that hunger but it is very bad it is bad if you are if you are part of those that are doing it please stop it today as you are listening to this stop it today we are doing ourselves more harm than good so let's continue now to the fifth one it is stress related isomnia stress related isomnia so what is this stress so this stress is also one of the enemy to all it affects every individual even no matter the work you do, the web development, the by copywriter, even if it's this all, all those of offline job or offline or online job, we, they all have their own health related issues. They all have their own stress. So this stress affects every individual, not only graphic designer alone. So some don't know how to cope with stress, why some know how to cope? It. It's not everybody that knows how to cope with stress, but there are some people that also know how to cope with it. So that's why I decided to make this audio podcast today how to cope with stress as a graphic designer. This stress it, it, it is, is very alarming and it, it can kill. So, stress occurs and it's also occur when there is a change in, in, in something. When a change are made, this stress will occur. It may be a change in your work your life, your environment, oh. So this stress, it's it, it occur when you have a change. Let's say you, you are working in a cool environment before, then before you know it, they take you from your office, they take you to a very nice environment. Before you adapt to it, you'll have been, this stress, you, you have been faced so many stress because you won't be able to check right why you want to see the noise from the environment will keep disturbing you. So, this stress occur when there is a change also and this stress can keep you awake overnight 
this stress you can keep you awake overnight and you keep wondering what could have caused you sleeplessness. It will happen to me many times before, but now I know how to manage stress very well. And since then, I've been having a, 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 a lovely night rest. Before I had it, I, I, I find it out to sleep overnight. And I wake up thinking, what is wrong with me? What is happening to me? This when I was unable to sleep throughout this morning. And it's not that when I wake up in the morning, I would still feel like sleeping again. Until I know how to cope with this stress. That is when I have a good night rest. So this stress it can keep you awake overnight. So that's why you need to avoid it. This stress also it causes insomnia. That's inability to sleep. And once you can't sleep well, it will affect your productivity and work happiness. That's why you see for some people when they get to work, that's when that's when they'll be sleeping. Then you'll be thinking, show you you not sleep at home. That you when you came to office, that you're already sleeping. This stress can cause it. It causes insomnia. You won't be able to sleep. So it affects our work. Then shoulder and neck pain also. So many people don't complain in shoulder and neck pain. That when they sit for a sit with the system for a while, they started stretching their neck, their shoulder, and all that. So this thing they are caused by sitting for a long period of time, and it leads to bad posture. This to pain in the back, arm, the chest, hips, and leg. So, as a graphic designer, these are just some of the eldest issues you should watch out for. Please, I'm begging you. Our work should not avoid, should not deprive us from the future, the future life we should live. It's not about now, it's about the future. So, this helps you should not deprive us of our of our future so these are some of the health issues you should watch out for so those who are experiencing this don't worry you can still correct it you can still be managed you can still be managed if you, if you are already experiencing it you can still be managed that's why i organized a, a training a two days training and it's coming up on the 28th to 29th of this June. if you like to june so if you, I don't know if you, if you are interested, actually come and learn more about your health. You can just message me, then you'll be added to the group. You can message me, you'll be added to the group. The training is tag Health Talk series, and the topic is 14 secrets you need to know about your health as an online entrepreneur. You see, every work has a tone related issue. So your own work as an online entrepreneur or a graphic designer, everything will be discuss in this today's free health talk series so i want you to be there as you're listening to this you know you really care about your health so as i was saying to those who are experiencing all this don't be panic can still be corrected and managed all you need to do is make sure to take care of yourself and always take preventive measure i will say it again Make sure to take care of yourself and always take preventive measures. What are those preventive measures? The first one is standing up every 20 minutes. Every 20 minutes, always stand up. If you see that you have seated for like 30 minutes on an hour with the system on your phone, working with your phone, stand up, take a walk, stretch your hands, stretch your body. Then, the second one is take a break. A break can just be for you to, to, to go and urinate if you are feeling the urge or to go and eat if you are feeling hungry. Just take a break. Don't kill yourself because of this work. The job you are saying you want to get it done, even after you get it done, they will still bring another job for you. And it is when you are healthy that you can be able to continue getting this job and doing it. So always take a break and get enough sleep and engage in some exercise. Get enough sleep and engage in some exercise. That is, you should always sleep well. Don't say they don't sleep. Some people they hardly sleep for five hours. They hardly sleep for five hours, and the next day you still see them again doing the same thing month by month, year by year. So get enough sleep and engage in some exercise. Your Saturday or very early the morning. And just even if it's just ordinary and this press up you can do do something 
just do some chop, have some rest, then also also come work for me. This is our work. Oh, did you know? That's why I said if you're hungry, just try to eat. Don't take snacks. Eat good food to make you healthy. So not until you feel hungry before you also eat also. At the time you feel hungry, but because you want to get tasks done before you leave the system, you say, well, come buy me snacks there, Charlie. You won't be able to eat well. So this thing is affecting us. That's when you see some people nursing ulcer. And this ulcer is another severe health issue that is not good for the body. So there are times you will later go for snacks and it's very bad and affect our health. So that is why I'm doing this video today. And promise me you will turn a new lead. All the things I mentioned here, I'd like you to take into action and practice. So what they're going to do for me is, as you're listening to this audio, audio podcast now, I want you to make use of the comment section. Tell me what are the things you have been doing so far that is damaging your head and what you are doing. Stop doing at the moment you're listening to this. What you have been doing before that is damaging your head and you like to stop it because you are listening to this audio podcast. I'd like you to make use of this comment section. Put it there and I'll be very glad that this audio podcast has really helped you. If you find it helpful, and just like, comment, and share with those that you know that need this thing. So, don't forget, I said my training is coming up on the 20th to 29th of this June 2022. So, if you still like to be one of the those that already sit in the class, I just click on the link or message, send me a message, and we reply you immediately. So thank you very much for listening. Till I, till I meet you, till I come your part again. Do have a wonderful day. Have a nice health. Stay healthy for me, and I will be very glad to hear from you. Thank you very much.